Well, the NFL playoffs start this weekend, and for some, that means a battle on the field. But in the new show, NFL Tailgate Takedown, the battle is in the parking lot. As chefs from around the country go head-to-head -head for the best local dishes and hometown pride. Take a look. Tailgating is all about dealing with the elements. It's windy right now. You're cooking over an open flame. Yeah. You got to be able to adjust. All right, I'm going to go check out my Giants. Be right back. Have right. fun with that. Y'all make some noise for my Giants right Woo! here. Come on, man. Come on. Let's go, Jimmy. Uh, yeah. I see that you've got some French fry shaped zucchini right there. Yep. Squash blossoms. Uh, squash Is this beans. what happens at your tailgate? That's exactly. right. Oh, and host of NFL <laughs> Tailgate Takedown, Sonny Anderson joins me now. Good to see you. It's good to see you again, girl. It's always good to see you, girl. <laughs> Listen, I love tailgating. I yeah. know that you love tailgating. So I love like tailgating. perfect show for you. I love couch gating. Me too. I, I like love couch gating better. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, the best thing about a tailgate is if you do it right, you're meeting strangers and you're getting free food and beer, you know? So, yes. Um, I love nothing more than tailgating. Uh, I love eating outdoors. I love the whole ook ook of it all. If there's yes. a flame, um, but this is a really fun show for me because I obviously love football yeah. and food and NFL tailgate takedown. It just marries them together yes. with a little bit of competition, and I get to see new stadiums I've never been to before. And I like to travel. Yeah, me for too. Stadiums, so. Me too. We do that for baseball. We travel for different baseball stadiums. Oh wow. Yeah, but what, tell me about how like how the competition works. Yeah, so basically we touch down in various NFL cities. The day of a game yeah. and we've flown in a team of tailgaters from the away team so they're out from town they're like it's a, a whole new parking lot for them and we challenge the away team to take on the home team of tailgaters and then we have three rounds of eating and at the very end they'll win <laughs> tickets to the game that night and awesome. this cool trophy that we call the yum Barty trophy so if you're familiar <laughs> right like yeah, if you're familiar Lombardi with trophy, exactly yeah. <laughs> I know enough to know that. I gotta tell you something. <laughs> if I were playing, like, okay, I get it. I'll go to the game tonight. But that Lombardi Trophy, <laughs> aka Lombardi Trophy, yeah. I would need that. Like, and it's a team of two, so I, I want to know it. who gets the trophy at the end. You yeah, know? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so, what stadiums do you visit? What's, where are you going? So we did Kansas City Chiefs. We were there oh, um, tonight. One. We're in the Mile High City in Denver. That was fun with the Colts versus uh, the Broncos. We went to the Bills. I want to send some love oh, out yeah. to Jamar um, and his family on and off the field. We went to a Patriots game, which my co-host is Vince Wilfork. He had just got put into the Patriots Hall of Fame. Now, I'm a Giants fan. Yeah, me too. So it was tough. It was tough. Yeah. It, I hear a lot of, mm -mm. Yeah. It, was, it was tough. <laughs> yeah. um, but, you know, he's so awesome, and he's a, he's a really nice guy. He never met a stranger, and we actually had to fight each other for bites on that set. <laughs> it was a, a really good time. We just ate food and drink beer and I love that yeah. and if you're doing a party at home though you can have a good old party and have a good old time with the infladium you can with the infladium <laughs> The Infladium is back. It is. That's my baby. Yeah. I actually came up with that idea and put it together in the parking lot at MetLife Stadium. Oh, my God. Were you like, this is what we need. This is what we don't have. In, I don't have my life right now. Yes. I need to make it. Well, there were so many people with these really cool, like, homemade snack stadiums, right? And they were, like, cardboard and aluminum foil. Yeah. And first of all, all I could think was that's a lot of time. Yeah. And then that's like, do I have an engineering degree? And then once you put it together, it's only, like, you can use it once and it's done. Yeah. Um, so I actually did a Google search looking for like a snack stadium I could buy. Yeah. And I saw some like artisans out there. They'll make you a bespoke one, but it was like yeah. thousands of dollars. Yeah. And I'm cheap. Yeah. GZ from the kitchen <laughs> likes to call me parsimonious. It sounds cuter, <laughs> it's but like, it's still I'm cheap. Okay. I like a deal. Yeah. So I just sketched it out and I tried to think about what would a snack stadium be for me, you know, inexpensive, yeah. reusable, and easy to put together. It's a blow up. So you just blow it, it, it up. You need a store. It is it a store? It's Love flat. It. You put it in your closet. And I've, a lot of people that um, buy them, they tell me throughout the year they use them for like for different things. birthday parties, you know, Christmas. They I just love it. whatever. It's a party city too, mm -hmm. right? Party city, yeah. I love it. And lots of other <laughs> fun things on Party City too. Yeah. Uh, but you can catch NFL Tailgate Takedown Wednesday at 9 p.m. on Food Network and streaming on Discovery Plus. Good to see you. It's good How much to see fun you. Is too, this? I want to come and just watch next time and go yeah, to the stadium. Yeah, but if you. you come, can you bring some cake? Because yes. I'm not playing with you, Sarah. <laughs> I see you on Instagram and I want some cake. You know, every time I see you, I want some cake. I know. I'm going to bring you some cake. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm just. Make you a birthday cake this year.